Hey guys, Terry here. Hey, today I went to the Expo that's in Columbus, Ohio. It's going on today too. Um, but yesterday I went and um, shopped around. So it was significantly less vendors. Um, if you've been there before, um, I'd say the place probably holds maybe 30 booths and I'd say maybe 15 were there. So um, it was really neat to go to it. Um, there was a lot of, uh, and I don't think there was anything new, um, that Gary that has all the supplies, he was there. Um, it seemed like prices were significantly higher. Um, it was just amazing. I mean, some of those die sets that are, um, you know, really neat, they're like $40 now, and it's so much to spend. So, um, I did get some stuff, but I think I, um... I, I did have a threshold of what was what was a good price. And I tried to find unique stuff. So, like, this was cute. This place here, I'll have um, links to everything down in the description to the companies that I bought from. But this um, die-cutting company here, here's a 20% off coupon. I'll have that down in the description in case you see something you like. But look at these. I thought, oh, my gosh, now you know we're going to do a uh, Columbus Zoo trip with the baby. So I got this. I thought this would be cute on a two-page layout with that. So these were adorable. And those were $4.50 and $5. So I thought for all the layers and everything that's on there, I thought $5 was a good price point for that. And then um, these laser cut ones for layouts are so neat. So this is one um, that has the baby's first year. So I can't wait to put that in Sawyer's book. So I love that. I also like that it's in black and white, and you can add any colors that you want to it. This one is for the cruise. Um, my, my trouble with this was, I don't know that this blue will go with my cruise paper that I'm going to do. So we'll see, but it's really cute. So I thought that would be a nice uh, front page for my cruise book. And then this one is for a future scrapbooking trip that I've got planned in May. So, love that. This this, this uh, laser company just has such uh, wonderful designs. It sports and everything. So, love that. Uh, my favorite booth was this one here. It was a gentleman that was in the middle of the building. And he had stuff. I don't know how he was doing it, but he had stuff... That was, and I don't have the name of his company, um, but he was a very nice gentleman that had stuff. Um, he had tables that was all two dollar stuff. So these, um, I'm sure these are older paper pads. So this is fancy pants. This is simple stories. Um, he had just a bunch of them that were two dollars each. So I don't know how old these are. I'm, I'm sure they're older product. Um, I got these stamps. These were two dollars each. This one caught my eye. It says, um, don't let anyone burst your bubble. And it's got all these little uh, animals there. Aren't those cute? So this one was originally from Hampton Art. So I'm sure he's buying this stuff secondhand. But still, even $2 was, was an amazing price point. This one, um, I have a lot of Christmas stuff. But I really liked this. All is calm. All is bright. And then it had just such fun, fun stamps there. And then this one, I think I do. I think this is what Joanne's carries. Joanne's or Michael's? Maybe it's Michael's. But I thought that I love bicycles, and I thought these would be so pretty on cards. And even the fonts are pretty on this. So love that set. Um, he also had these chipboards from Echo Park, and I know um, Echo Park has had warehouse sales. So these were all $2, which I think is the price that you got for them at the... So I don't know how he was selling the stuff for just $2. So I got those chipboards for boy, Christmas, and then these winter ones. So love that price point. And then he also had a handful of kits. So this one he had for... Well, this is what caught my eye because I like these little snap notebooks and they're very hard to find. So this came with this kit that was $30. So the kit has some pages and instructions for the book and then this set of From Simple Stories. So I thought that was really good because um, you'll pay $30 for these. 
Um, so I think that's great, and I'm, I'm really liking doing Christmas books in this size. So then um, I saw these stamps here. This was at um, Inky, Inky Antics. So I thought this one was cute. There's a set that has um, Speedy Recovery, uh, not feeling very good, and it's got two bears. He's got a hot water bottle, and this one's got a blankie on and a thermometer. So I thought that was precious. This one was adorable, too. They had so many puppy dog ones, it was hard to decide. But look at this little guy wagging his tail, looking up at you. And it says, um, dog on it, uh, missing you is rough, R-U-F-F. And then, um, look at that little Yorkie. Oh my gosh, so, no bones about it, I really dig you. So, too cute. And then this one I just thought was beautiful. This one reminded me of, um, Art Impressions. So, love that and beautiful sayings. So, those were, um, $12.95, which wasn't wonderful, but I really did like the stamps. So that was Ink Annex, and again, I'll have a coupon code uh, down in the description. And then um, I found this at a booth. Again, I forget what the... Um, oh, here it is. Scrap and Paws. So this one was a cruise ship, and I thought I could use that in my album for my recent cruise. And then... Um, this one is Want to Scrap. I've seen their dies before. Uh, they had these. Um, these were $10 each. This one was $15. They had them um, um, buy two, get one free. So, love the Easter bunnies. Aren't those adorable? I can't wait to make an Easter card with those. And then I bought these two for the um, scrapbook album. I thought those were really cute. So... I go back and forth on whether to get the die or just buy, buy some of those um, die cuts that are always already cut for you. But I thought I would use these frequently. So, and then they also had this one. I'm a, I'm a scrapped addict and I need a 12 by 12 step program. So, too cute. They had a lot of cute scrapbooking uh, die cuts. So that was adorable. Um, I bought, I think the last of the things I bought was these paper sets. So, this one is from Echo Park, but I had not seen these colors before. It's like um, fall colors, but for summer stuff. So, this was a pack here. I think most of the packs were running like $15.99. So, I just love the color. This might be what I use for my cruise album, because um, there's just something about those colors. I love fall colors, and... This has um, a lot of stuff for the cruise. Here's some palm trees again. So, the pool stuff. Sunglasses. So, love that one. And then I got the coordinating, um, Echo Park makes coordinating paper packs for these sets. So, love that. Going to use that for sure. Um, Echo Park came out with um, another cropping. They know that we like to crop our scrapbook pictures. So look at this one. It's got the wagon. It's also got the little um, tear, uh, tear cart. <laughs> so love the colors. Love that. And I will use this in my scrapbook album. Um, here's a pretty winter set. Again, I, mean, I don't even know that I take winter pictures anymore. But love the colors. Look at the hot cocoa. So, love those. I can use those for any kind of family pictures. Um, here's another summer one. Similar in those oranges. Oranges and greens. So I bought this pack. These paper packs I bought at um, the Inspiration In booth from Abby. So, love those. Uh, this one I happened to get at another... Um, memories for all and I have completely used up my 4th of July paper and we always go to the fireworks so I needed a new set so Echo Park and Cartabella, this one's Cartabella just have some beautiful red, white, and blue paper packs 
So love those. So that was everything that I bought. I wanted to quickly get this video out and show you um, if you're near Columbus, Ohio, get down to the expo. I think it's worth going. Um, it's substantially less vendors, but um, it's so fun to walk around and you might see some, run into some friends there. So I hope you have a great weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.